Stephen Seagal born on April 10, 1952 is an American actor and martial artist. He was born in Lansing, Michigan and at the age of five his mommy moved to Orange County, California to get a fresh start. Later on he worked with the Japanese in Garden Grove. And this is how his so-called martial arts journey began. He began studying karate. And at the age of 19 he decided to move to Japan. While he was in Japan things didn't work out for him. So he returned to California to cry to his mommy. This is when he eventually met his first wife. Who was teaching Aikido at the time. He claims to have met Morihayu Ashiba while he was in Japan but it was all a lie. Because Morihayu Ashiba was already dead long before Seagull made it to Japan. This is one of the many lies that Steven Seagull has told throughout his career. But anyways Steven Seagull would go on to marry his Aikido instructor Mako Fujidani. And return to Japan where he eventually ended up running his father-in-law, S. Dojo and becoming an instructor. Teaching his Bullshido techniques to his poor students. Steven Seagull became a 7th degree black belt in Bullshido. And there, reason I say this is because Mako said that Steven Seagull did not earn his black belt the honest way because the judge that was supposed to grade him during presentation was so embarrassed he fell asleep the whole time. I can honestly tell you that what she's saying is true because I watched one of his movies and before it ended I was already asleep. The only reason this guy got married to this Japanese woman and had some mixed breed babies is because he believed that if he married a Japanese woman he would be less likely to get deported back to the United States. He couldn't let that happen because this is all part of his plan to get into Hollywood and star in action movies. And that's exactly what he did. His wife was very supportive of Steven Seagal and was giving him money to chase his dream. As a token of his appreciation this fat grease ball returned to United States to marry his second wife a actress by the name Adrienne Larissa. Who was most likely being used as a catapult for him to get into Hollywood. Meanwhile his other wife is still in Japan taking care of the children. Fortunately for Adrienne Larissa the relationship ended. Which left Steven Seagal back to square one. Meanwhile his wife is in Japan struggling with keeping the dojo open and raising their kids. He didn't care because all he could think about was getting the opportunity to drop them drawers for the movie roles. Because he knew that in order to break into Hollywood, you gotta be seen with famous people. That's when the goat decided to send a big foot his way. He met up with Kelly Labrock in a secluded area where he clapped the big foot's cheeks until brown liquids erupted. And Steven Seagal enjoyed the smell. Two weeks later they were lovers. One year later they were married. Steven Seagal career began to take off. Wow, all of his movies were complete garbage. The only thing this guy was ever good at doing is telling lies. Winning all you could buffet contest and abusing women. Hiring young women as his his personal secretaries then sexually assaulting them. He hired Ray Charles daughter for this role. And she was petrified because he had a smoked sausage that was taller than her. So she ran away and got on their first plane back to the United States. Steven Seagal is a sick individual. He is the biggest fraud in Hollywood. Steven Seagal wasn't a martial artist. He was a bully. Who purposely injured several stunt men who worked on the set with him. He even pooped his pants after being put in a chokehold for only a few seconds. At 70 years old this washed up old walking popcorn fart is still getting movie roles. Because Goat Lucy is very pleased with all the horrible things he has done in his career. But the clock stops for no one. Unfortunately for Mr. Seagull his time is almost up. And on that dreadful day. Steven Seagull will meet his lord. The one they call Goat Lucy. And when those gates open to the afterlife. Demons will perform bullshido techniques on him until he poops his pants for eternity. Like comment subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Chains off your brain gang catch you later.